Thank you for installing the Dear Jane add-on for EQ software. This video will show you what was installed with your add-on and where to find everything. If you want to open the quilt project, you would open your EQ8 and go to open an existing project. You can also click on file open project. Both here and here will bring up the same dialogue. So I'm going to click on open an existing project and this brings up the project helper window. That's what this, this window is here. We need to be on the open an existing project tab. Down here on the left, you will want to just scroll down until you see DJ12345. These are the project files that get installed with your add-on. Each one of these is labeled with master and that's really important because you want to make sure you don't overwrite or delete these files. So make sure if you do open a project that you resave it, do a file save as, and give it a different name. That's very important. And all those instructions are included in the PDF documentation as well. So if you did want to open this project, you would just click OK and that project would be open. Please watch the other videos to learn more details about opening projects and saving them as a new, with a new name. So I'll cancel that. And the next thing that gets installed with your add-on is the block library. So if you go up to libraries, block library, you can access the blocks from any project. You don't have to have in those specific Dear Jane projects open. You can access them from any project you want. So I scrolled down and I found the Dear Jane add-on. And if I keep clicking the plus sign, the plus sign will expand each library and then I can click on which row I want to look at. Each one of these rows does have 13 blocks, the 13 blocks for each row in the quilt and then same for the triangles and of course there are four kites and then the scallops are included here. These variations these are additional blocks that we have added some different drawing variations for the blocks. Brenda Papadakis has come up with different ways, like you, just different ways that you might want to construct the block. So you can see here, this block might be an applique. This, if you edit this down, it might look the same as this, but it's constructed differently or it's drawn differently in EQ. This one has seam lines coming out on the sides. So there are just little slight differences. If you can't see a visual difference, it's mostly how it was drawn in EQ that's different. So if you don't like how the center blocks are constructed here, you're like, I don't want to piece it that way or I'd rather applique it, definitely go down and check out the variations. There might be a different option that would work better for you that would still give you a similar look that you want. Down here, there are quilting designs. Beth Lewis, a friend of Brenda Papadakis, did allow us to include all of the quilting designs that she drew based on the Jane Stickle quilt. So we have added those in, and they're all labeled. This is the A2 quilting, this is A6. So you should be able to just view them and print them however you want to get them onto your quilt. And then the good for alternate blocks here, those are additional blocks that would work well in a Dear Jane type of quilt. So they're very classic types of, types of blocks. So again, if you wanted to use any of these blocks, you would just select them and add them to your sketchbook, or you can click Edit to Block Work Table, and you can start working on them right there. So right now we have the projects which again, you can go to open and open projects. You have the library here in the block library, but then you also get documentation and there is a lot of documentation installed with this, with this add-on. If you open file explorer, if you're on a windows computer, open file explorer and go to documents, my EQ8, Mac users, you would open finder and up on the top menu, what you would choose go and then home, and then you should see the My EQ8 folder. 
Inside the My EQ8 folder, you're going to see all kinds of folders. We want to open the documentation folder. Inside the documentation folder, you'll see a Dear Jane folder. Open that up. And these are all the, the PDFs that are included with the program. After you install the program for the first time, this is the PDF that you saw first. This is a very important PDF. I highly recommend that you print this out and keep it next to you. This is what's going to tell you what's installed, where to find it, but then it also goes into opening a project, saving it by a new name, different things about the borders, all kinds of information that you really would need to know to use this add-on in EQ. So again, open this up, print it, and keep it by your side. Quilt and Block Resources. This has a lot of background information about the quilt, about Brenda Papadakis, about Jane Stickle. Um, what's nice about this PDF reader that I'm using, and yours is going to be a little bit different, but over on the left, I'm able to turn on the bookmarks. So if you have that option, go ahead and turn that on. It might be in the menu, maybe view bookmarks. Um, I'm not really sure what readers have what options, but for mine, it's over here on the left. And this is a good way for me to just click through and view the information. Oh, I, I want to go down to row A and learn about row A. What this PDF is, is a lot of information about each individual block, how the block got its name, what its original block size was in Jane's quilt, and little tips about the block itself. You can see the actual sewn block next to it, which is really fun, as well as the EQ block. So again, this has all 225 blocks in it. It is a pretty big document. I don't recommend printing it, but it is nice to access it when you want information about the blocks. This information that's here on the right next to each block is also in the block note card in your EQ software. This DJ03 Lessons is a document that Brenda Papadakis put together for you and it is lessons and tips for sewing the Dear Jane blocks. So it's a lot of valuable information here. Um, very much illustrated to help you construct a lot of these different blocks. You can just flip through and see the different tips and tricks for sewing and piecing these blocks together. Again, you can use the bookmarks on the left. The other PDFs are just fun extras. Um, if you have a group that's working together, you can give a certificate of completion. You completed how many blocks, how many pieces. This is just fun kind of stuff that you can print out. You want to do a journal. Maybe you want to do a quilt label. You can print that onto inkjet fabric sheets and sew that onto your quilt. There's even some stationery. So just something fun and very Dear Jane-esque. Again, you're in your MyEQ8 folder, documentation, and this is all the information you need. These three documents are very important. Please print out the Using with EQ, and that will tell you everything you need to know about using the add-on. Please watch our other videos to learn more in-depth details on the quilt and how to use it with EQ.